Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the term Renaissance. Introduction The Renaissance, commonly known as the Rebirth, was a remarkable period in European history that followed the Middle Ages. It is traditionally believed to have originated in Italy during the late 14th century and extended through the 15th and 16th centuries, leaving a lasting impact on various countries in Western Europe. The Renaissance was a time of immense cultural, intellectual and artistic growth as the arts of painting, sculpture, architecture and literature reached unparalleled heights. This period marked a departure from the medieval worldview, giving rise to a new era of exploration, curiosity and humanistic inquiry. Humanism and Renaissance one of the central tenets of the Renaissance was humanism, an intellectual movement that sought to revive and celebrate the wisdom of classical antiquity. Humanists, scholars well versed in Greek and Latin, undertook the rediscovery and dissemination of ancient texts, enriching European literature and philosophy. The invention of the printing press by Johannes Gutenberg in the mid-15th century further accelerated the spread of knowledge. Books, once rare and expensive, became more accessible to the expanding literate population, facilitating the exchange of ideas across borders and centuries. Religious Transformation and the Reformation Religion underwent a profound transformation during the Renaissance due to the emergence of the Reformation. Spearheaded by figures like Martin Luther, this religious movement questioned the authority of the Roman Catholic Church and paved the way for Protestantism. The Reformation encouraged a more direct and personal relationship between individuals and God, challenging traditional hierarchical structures. This theological upheaval ignited debates and conflicts that would shape the religious landscape of Europe for generations to come. Geographical Discoveries and Exploration The Renaissance was also marked by significant geographical discoveries. Christopher Columbus's voyage of 1492 to find a new trade route to the east resulted in the discovery of the Americans. European exploration and subsequent settlements on this new continent expanded commercial prosperity and stimulated the literary imagination. The encounter with indigenous cultures and uncharted lands enriched the literary works of the time, exemplified by Shakespeare's exotic and magical world in The Tempest. Scientific Revolution in the Renaissance In the realm of science, the Renaissance witnessed a radical shift in cosmological thinking. The Ptolemaic geocentric model of the universe, which placed the Earth at the center, was challenged by Nicholas Copernicus with his heliocentric theory, which proposed that the planets, including Earth, revolved around the Sun. This revolutionary insight laid the foundation for modern science, transforming humanity's understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Debates about the Renaissance Despite its profound impact, the term Renaissance has not been without its critics. Some historians contended that the Renaissance is not a distinct and separate era, but rather a continuum of historical developments. They argue that many attributes considered Renaissance-like were already present in the Middle Ages blurring the boundaries between the two periods. In response, alternative terms like early modern have been proposed to encompass the time from the late Middle Ages to the 17th century, emphasizing the period's forward-looking innovations and relevance to the modern world. Conclusion In conclusion, the Renaissance was a period of tremendous intellectual and artistic growth that reshaped European society and culture. It was characterized by the revival of classical learning, the proliferation of printed books, 
religious transformations, geographical discoveries, and groundbreaking scientific theories. While debates persist regarding its definition, the lasting impact of the Renaissance on literature, art, philosophy, and scientific inquiry cannot be denied. Its legacy endures in the foundations of modern Western thought and culture. So this was the discussion on the term Renaissance. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs later to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC NET for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us.